Ever wonder what type of jobs you can get with just HTML, CSS, and just a couple of extra skills? Guess what? In this video, I want to go in and discuss e-commerce jobs that you guys can start applying to with the skills that you already have. So let's get into it. All right. Shout out to everybody that's in here. Leave a comment. Show me some love in the comment section. Show me a like, right? And I want to go and give a shout out to Ice T Beauty who said, hey, Joe, just going to leave my question here. This was from last Friday. We did a live stream. And basically, she said, can you talk more about e-commerce coordinator and search for jobs for it? Thank you. Same thing for Deborah. Deborah was like, hey, seconding that uh, request for e-commerce video, Joe, could you also talk about e-commerce freelancing in that video? So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. All right. Shout out to both of them. Guys, I ain't forget about you. I told you I saved the picture, right? So I can remember to make this video. So again, let's get into it. So uh, we're going to start with this one, right? This is one of the top jobs that we also recommend on entry level jobs.ai. Again, if you're looking for your first job or even a job in general, like it doesn't have to be your first job. You just want to get in and get a job now. Check out entry level jobs.ai. Um, in here, we have this job. Let's say, for example, e commerce manager. Okay. Um, again, it's being listed on indeed.com. There's a bunch of different job titles for this position. This position, what it means is that you're managing an online store. Okay. So that's what you're going to be doing. Now, as far as the skills that you need, it's just basic HTML, CSS. All right. Understanding how to work with CMS tools, right? Content management systems. It could be WordPress, could be Shopify, could be Wix, could be Squarespace. It could be uh, BigCommerce. There's a whole bunch of different uh, platforms that allow you to go in and start selling products online. And guess what? When you have the knowledge of working on the web, this is actually super easy for you guys to pick up. Okay. This is some of the things that we teach on codingphase.com for our students to help them land the first position. Now, again, this is a company called dress outlet. Now let me go in and show you guys, uh, the company itself. Okay. This is the website. They're actually using Shopify, if I'm not mistaken. Give me a second. Uh, let this load up. There you go. We got Shopify, right, for e-commerce. Um, their, you know, their site is built with React, right? Tailwind CSS, right? They're using Clavio. They're using a couple of things, right? The, the normal things that you will see in most uh, e-commerce platforms. Okay, guess what? If you know how to use Shopify, if you know how to create an online store, if you know how to go in and add products, uh, you know, create collections, right? Like you see all of these, these are actually collections. If you look over here at the URL, it says collection, uh, long sleeve, formal dresses, right? There's a whole bunch of products that this company sells. Um, but from there, if you know how to manage the online store, add the right products, right? Add all of the things that's required uh, for them to sell products. Guess what? This is a position for you. A lot of you guys can do this like literally like with your eyes closed. This is not difficult. Most of the work it's really given to you as far as like the content, for example, like this could be done maybe in China or maybe in Costa Rica. It already comes with a description. It already comes with all of the details that you have to add to the website. And your job is really more about attention to detail, knowing how to use the platforms. And then from there, making sure that it has the right prices, it has the right uh, sizes, that it also has, you know, how many they have in inventory, all of those things, you can manage it through the CMS system. Okay. So that's what you're going to be doing as far as an e-commerce manager. Again, you have multiple different job titles for this. You have Shopify developer, uh, WordPress developer. You have e-commerce manager, e-commerce coordinator, uh, web administrator. There's a bunch of job titles that has to do with this position again. So don't just search e-commerce. You have to go in and search for all of those other jobs. Um, basically because the job titles, they're relevant, right? You got to look at the description. This is what we do at entry level jobs. We do that work for you and we say, Hey, this is the position you need to be applying to. So like that is much easier for you guys. Again, this is the site, right? Like, let's say, for example, we have the category of web administrator and right here, every single thing that we see here, it's about being a web administrator, managing a website for a company. Now, as far as Fiverr, Let's talk about Fiverr. Can you make some money freelancing? 
Yes, you can. Okay. There's a lot of stuff that you can do on Fiverr. So for example, you have Shopify, right? We could search Shopify. There's a bunch of different listings in here. Um, basically that like you could create an online store for somebody. Um, you can also to manage it, right? Um, again, just optimize it. There's a whole bunch of things that you guys can do. And I suggest you definitely go on Fiverr and look at the things that people are actually going in and purchasing. So for example, like this, I will build you an automated drop shipping store. Again, this is nothing crazy. Um, you also have things like this one over here where you're basically managing the online store and you can have multiple clients. Like you see here, this person, Aliyah Ruman, she has 876 reviews, probably has way more than that as far as like actually uh, getting clients and, and customers. And she's charging, let's say $80 for the basic. Okay. Uh, she's charging for $120. She's also asking, you know, $160. Now she goes in and gives you like, Hey, I will manage it for four hours. I'll manage it for eight hours, 12 hours. You can go in and do it however you want. You can even go in and say, you know what? I'm going to charge you per project. I'm going to charge you for how many products you want me to list. I'm going to charge you for, um, you know, what updates you want me to add to the website. Do you want me to debug some problems, etc. There's a bunch of different ways that you guys can make money uh, with e-commerce. Again, every time that you go online, if you ever notice this, like on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, etc., any of these platforms, every time you see a product being promoted to you, 90% to like 95% of the time, those websites are built with Shopify or they're using something like WordPress, WooCommerce, or they're using Wix or BigCommerce. So again, once you learn how to do a website with one of these platforms and you understand how the CMS systems work, you can pretty much learn to do it with all the other ones because they all follow the same guidelines. It's like a dashboard. You get to post uh, the product. You get to add the categories. You get to add the different collections. You could create discounts. You could create uh, special discounts for a special date, like let's say a July 4th sale, a Black Friday sale, a Father's Day, et cetera, right? Um, so yes, there's a lot of different things that you can do by just being able to manage the store. Now, how much money can you make out of this? It's all up to you. If you go in and you really put yourself out there for freelancing, you can make a lot of money because literally there's a lot of things that you can go in and provide for a company. Like, Hey, I will manage your products. That right there could be a $200 gig. Then from there, hey, you need some actual emails that you need to set up. Like let's say the automations, the abandoned cart. Maybe you want to set up some SMS, like, you know, getting text messages for signing up to the website and then you leaving an item on the cart send a text to the person. Guess what? That's a $500 gig right there. So if you go in and you have, you know, 10 different clients that you consistently bring in, 200 to 500 dollars that's an extra two thousand to five thousand dollars that you can make on a yearly basis or sorry on a monthly basis technically right so that could easily be an extra fifty thousand dollars in your pocket okay so there's a lot of different things that you guys can do when it comes to e-commerce that's why i always tell you guys pay attention right pay attention to what's happening out here if you see that there's a lot of people selling products Guess what? That's something that you want to get into. That's where the money is at. Also, too, when you're building things for businesses, the cool part about it is that they're depending on your work and for those things to actually work. So you're going to get consistent work. Like somebody might come in and say, hey, I need you to build me a custom website. Maybe you'll charge them, let's say, $1,500 to build it with Shopify. Now you knock that out. That person needs SMS. Now you're charging $500. If they need you to go in and send, you know, consistent emails every month, you go in and say, hey, I'm going to charge you $600 for four different emails on a monthly basis. Now you go in and you continue to scale that. So there's a lot of different ways, not only just getting a job, but then using those skills outside of work. This is why I love this type of skills. If you notice on codingphase.com, right, everything that I focus on are skills that you can get a job with, but then at the same time, you can go in and say, hey, I can take the same skills and use it on the side, either for my own 
purpose, right? Like you could build your own store if you wanted to, or you could go in and sell that service to other people. So you're not just tied down to just working at a job 24 seven. At some point you can go in and say, Hey, I want to run this like a business and I'm making enough money. Guess what? Now I don't work for anybody. I work for myself. All right. So guys, again, if you like this video, show me some love in the comment section. I try to make it super quick. I'm not editing anything. Come through, leave a comment, show me some love. Um, another thing too that I want to say, guys, come to codingphase.com. Come check this out. Again, this is a platform built for you guys to help you guys get into the game. There's a lot of people that have gotten jobs on codingphase.com. We're literally 97% cheaper than a boot camp. All right. Like you might go in, scroll down, see everything that we provide. And you might say, oh my God, $90 is a lot of money. Trust me, it's not a lot of money compared when you put it against a boot camp or even with the type of value that you're going to get out of this. All right. You're getting the uh, 12 hours of monthly group coaching, career paths. You have over 90 plus courses, new courses getting added every single day. Like today, we're dropping a Vue.js course. Go check that out. Okay. You have the Tech Accelerator program, which is a guide holding your hand through the whole process of you going in. Uh, learning the skills, uh, building your portfolio, building your resume, promoting, you know, what type of jobs you need to go in and apply to. Like there's a lot of stuff that comes with a diamond membership. And again, it's a great price. All right. So definitely go check it out. And by the way, you actually get 20% off when you click on the description of this video. So no one here can say there was my discount. Check the description of this video, all right? Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com, and definitely check out this video that's right here, all right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.